hello viewers welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how to examine a neck swelling and in this case i'm examining a case of lymphangioma on left side of the upper neck after taking consent from the patient and explaining the procedure the patient is exposed properly ideally the neck should be exposed up to the level of nipples for proper examination the first part is inspection. The neck can be inspected from front and from the side. The patient is asked to swallow and we should notice whether it moves with deglutition or not. We should notice the site of the swelling on which triangle it is located, its extent, shape, surface, margin and overlying skin condition for any visible pulsation, color change or previous scar mark. Next part is the palpation. During palpation, we should look for temperature, tenderness, size of the swelling, shape of the swelling, surface, margins, all should be palpated. We should look for consistency of the swelling and if it is cystic, we can do fluctuation test whether it is positive or not. The swelling is compressed to see whether it is compressible or not. We also need to do transillumination test in case of cystic swelling. Overlaying skin is pinched to see if the skin is fixed with the mass. Mobility of the mass is tested to see whether it is fixed with underlying structure. By asking the patient to press his chin on hand we can see mobility of the mass in relation to sternocleidomastoid muscle. By asking the patient to clench his teeth, we can see mobility of the mass in relation to the masseter muscle. Mobility of the mass in relation to trapezius muscle can be tested by asking the patient to shrug. The neck is palpated for any palpable neck lymphadenopathy. Then oral cavity is examined. After examination of oral cavity, indirect laryngoscopic examination is done after explaining the procedure to the patient.
the examination ends by thanking the patient and repositioning the clothing. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.